So now we're going to work on problem 95 from chapter 5. In this problem, we're told about vitamins, how they can be classified as water or fat soluble, uh, which um, will determine whether they accumulate in the body. Um, so water soluble vitamins can be easily eliminated in urine, but fat soluble molecules will typically accumulate more. So we have um, four molecule, uh, vitamins given here, and we need to determine based on their bonding, their atoms, if they are uh, water or fat soluble. So in part A, we're given vitamin C. And we can go ahead and draw the structure which we're given. We have HO bound to a carbon like this. We have an, another OH here. And then we have two OHs here. So one thing that we notice about this structure here is that we have many CO bonds, which we know are polar bonds. So we have some carbon hydrogen things as well, but we have uh, six uh, oxygen atoms in this molecule. So because of the high degree of oxygen, the high concentration of polar bonds, this would be water soluble. So we can look at part B, where we're given vitamin A. We have a little bit bigger structure here. So we have, uh, first we have a cyclohexene. And then we can draw One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, one, two, three, four, five. So each point on this line here represents each vertice or edge or angle represents a new carbon atom. So what we can see is that we have one oxygen here but everything else is a carbon-carbon or carbon-hydrogen bond. So these bonds here are all nonpolar, and so because of that, we only have nonpolar bonds, or a vast majority nonpolar bonds. We have a structure here which is fat-soluble. In part C, we're given vitamin B3, which is also known as niacin. Here we have a ring with nitrogen incorporated into it. Like this. And so because of the presence of CO and CN bonds, this will be water soluble. In part D, we're given vitamin E. So we have um, a benzene structure here. We draw in two double bond, three double bonds. We have what are called methyl groups here, and then OH here. This is connected to a hexagon with single bonds.
So we have this long chain with some methyl groups along the way here. So we only have two Cl bonds in this very large molecule here. And so because we only have two polar bonds in this whole molecule, mostly composed of CH and CO bonds, it will be a fat-soluble uh, molecule. 